Hey guys, it's Frank from Cruising with Wheels. How did Kevin end up battered and bruised? Find out in this episode of my Tales from the High Seas. Well, we were on our Southern Caribbean cruise aboard the NCL Jade. And on November 4th, it was the last port day of Jamaica. Now, we have avoided Jamaica uh, for so many years on any cruises that we have gone on. Every time we're in the process of looking online for a cruise, if it has Jamaica on the list, we're like, nah, I don't think so. Now, Jamaica has a very bad anti-gay history. And it's not a place that we'd like to go to and spend our money. Okay? Sorry, but that's just the way it is. It is illegal in Jamaica to be gay. It is punishable by prison time. People have been stabbed to death, stoned to death, uh, in the streets of Jamaica just for being gay. So you can kind of understand why Kevin and I would not want to go there. Um, that being said, this was a Southern Caribbean cruise. I had not been there uh, in 10 years. Uh, Kevin had never been there. And it was unfortunate that Jamaica was one of the stops. But we had planned that we were just going to get off the ship, uh, grab a quick Christmas ornament, and get back on. And it's pretty much what we had planned. So we got off the ship um, and uh, you know you can you can tell Jamaica's a beautiful island. Um, you know it just is. Uh, pictures that I've seen uh, if you get off and kind of look at the landscape and the water it looks gorgeous. Now we got off the ship and we made our way off of the dock and uh, roll down uh, the, uh, the walkway, you know, traversing our way. It was like this long walk of shame walkway to get to the end. Um, and when we got there, uh, it's where all these little shops were, these little, like, temporary, um, I don't want to call them huts, because they weren't huts, but a tent. It was like tent city at the end. And that's where all the taxi cabs and bus vans were of people, you know, wanting to take you on a tour. And so, uh, 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 check out the video. This is what we found. Transportation? No, thank you. I have my own wheels. Here, all the shops. And there's a sign that already says entrance back to the ship. Well, that was a fast little tour. <laughs> Thank you for coming. We got off the road. Your ship is not from here. Turtles, animals, masks, cargoes, sculpture. Yeah. Oh, I love the little turtles. Turtles come here. You know, I have a thing for turtles. I can't get down. Mm. It's the same t shirts and crap. It's the same wood carvings. It's the same, it's the same, it's the same. It's probably owned by the same people who run 20 of the same booths. Probably have a, uh, a monopoly on the port. <laughs> What's that little thing? Oh, it's a Jamaica. Oh, thank you. <laughs> T-shirt. Hey, hey, Mr. Who? Hey, Mr. Who? Can I sell a shirt or a hat, sir? Hat? Or a shirt? Nope. Oh, the purses and bags. 
there's one coming up here. Give me a little money. I so think don't be afraid. <laughs> wheelchairs and scooters will get off and on the walkway into the parking lot. And then is ignore. Yeah. And then when they persist, I'm not very nice. Thank you. Hey, brother, what's up? You say this text, and then on the back, you were talking. And on the back, he was going to say something like, that means you. I'm blocking your application to get in. Yes, so love to. It's a great love country. To. Yeah. Are you entertainer, man? You can now, as you can see, it was tent after tent after tent. They were all the same. They're probably all owned by the same person or the company or whatever. And they carry all the same crap. And that's what it was. It was crap. It was all this cheap wooden junk. And, you know, it was just so tight getting through there and everyone's jumping on you come in to see what i've got come in to see what i've got oh i've car this is all hand carved by me oh it's not like their stuff it's like uh no i see the same turtle i see the same carvings and masks jewelry t-shirts and whatever and magnets at every hut it's you know build hut number one and duplicate, then duplicate, then duplicate. It's the same crap. Come on. You you bought it in bulk from some massive corporation in China and had it shipped over here. And I remember when we were we were looking, uh, this guy came up and he immediately grabbed this little cheap turtle. I mean, I wouldn't give you a, a dollar for it. And he says, here you go. This is free. And I'm like, free. This is free. <laughs> I've never been anywhere on an island where someone gives you a souvenir uh, for free. And so, you know, Kevin always says, don't take anything, don't take anything. And so, you know, I was just holding it, looking at it. And I said to him, I don't think, you know, nothing's for free. And we were looking and I saw that, I don't know, I think it was this, this wooden pig. And for some reason I was like, oh, wow, isn't that a cute pig? And he immediately... You know, the guy grabbed it and was like, oh, I can give you a great deal. Oh, I, I, I'll only charge you $35. It was this little wooden pig. $35. Are you kidding? Oh, and he said, oh, no, oh, and, and the turtle is, I'll throw in the turtle for free. I'm thinking, wait a minute, didn't you already say that was free? Now it's $35 for the pig and a free turtle? Give me a break. And I immediately, when he said that, I was like, no, thank you. And I went like that and just, here you go. And we just kept on rolling and Kevin was like I told you not to take anything you don't take anything from anybody what's wrong with you and I'm like whatever you know but we're rolling through and everyone's jumping on us every two seconds it's you know, I'll take you on a tour take you on a tour here you know come come see what I've got I've got all this great stuff look at what I got buy from me buy from me and they're like and they're aggressive I mean they're very very aggressive and they're grabbing you literally they're like Everything is hands-on. I'm sorry. Don't touch me. And whoa, do not touch Kevin. Uh, that is not going to fly. But it was like running the gauntlet, you know. Like we should have had like baseball bats as we're going through trying to fend off the attackers. It was, you know, I remember what one commenter from our, our Jamaica vlog said. It was like the Hunger Games. And really, it truly was. I mean, it was it was kind of crazy. And then after the uh, the pig and the turtle uh, incident, then we have someone going, "Oh, hey, are you are you two married?" And I don't know if it's because he saw our rings, our matching rings. And Kevin immediately was like, uh, "You know, why? What what what's it to you? You know." Oh, have you been together for a long time? And it was he was trying to get like he was trying to get information. And Kevin gets very nervous about that. And he was like, you know, don't say anything, don't answer. And he just, we just kept going. Um, and he was like, listen, we need to find some ornaments. And we ended up finding two Jamaican magnets. And I said, you know, I can make these into a Christmas ornament. Just pay the money. It ended up fifteen dollars for these two magnets. You know, I said, let's get going. And let me tell you, it was, it was $15 too much, but, you know, we wanted the, the, the ornaments for the tree. On our way back, we're like, how long have we been here? I swear to God, it seems like hours we've been out here. And I was like, my God, we've only been out here like 15, 20 minutes. 
He goes, are you kidding? I said, no, 15 minutes and $15 too long. Let's get out of here. So we quickly turned around and went back up the walk, winding walkway uh, to the ship. And when we got close to the ship, we kind of stopped and we kind of kind of gathered ourselves, gathered our thoughts. And uh, we kind of uh, quickly did a video uh, tape of, uh, you know, what just happened. Take a look. Hey guys, it's us again. <laughs> we just had a photo bomber jerk. But anyways, he's been following me around. I've had to delete so much footage because he keeps walking by and saying obscene things. <laughs> anyways, crazy. we are unfortunately on the island of Jamaica and we say that for a few reasons. Number one, they're very anti-gay and their laws are strict uh, to respect of it's punishable by life in prison or stoning to death in the streets. Right. So Isn't if, that lovely? Yeah, so if you can get beyond the stoning, stabbings, and burnings, <laughs> you might want to visit. Now, the other thing is we hate Jamaica because the minute you get off and you go to buy things, um, there's no pricing. They will pester you until you get something. And their famous trick is we are going to hand this to you. Right. And if you take it, you're leaving with well, it. The thing is that you, you get out into off the dock and you go into the park. There's a parking lot area that has all the buses. And we've showed you some film footage of that. Mm -hmm. And also I filmed all the huts and they're all identical. So there's probably at least 12 identical souvenir huts with the same Jamaica t-shirts, Everybody's dresses, got the same crap. Hats, wood carvings, the turtles, the pigs, the elephants. It's identical. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's, okay, you know. They that, bought it all in bulk. Bought it in bulk, <laughs> shipped it from China, and and, they're, and they're, each one is telling the story that about they how handmade they hand-carved it themselves. Come visit my booth. My stuff is different. And what they do is, the one guy handed me the little turtle. Here you go, man. Here this is free this is free for you and I'm like free like there ain't nothing free mm -hmm. and then when you start looking at something it's oh well this I can give you well I'll give you this uh, this little pig $35 for this little pig so 35 oh and, and yeah yeah the turtle will be free it's like that's bullshit ain't nothing free first of all you probably paid 50 cents for the pig you know and then of course everything as well when you say, well, how much is this? Well, how much are you willing to give? Everything's a negotiation. So you got to be willing to negotiate and come here ready to do battle because you got to run the gauntlet from hut to hut to hut of they, uh, they wanting you to buy crap. And that's after the gauntlet of, hey, let's do a tour. Let's do where you going to go, tour, tour. And it's like, I don't want a tour. So tour bus after tour bus. And once you get past that, you're going to hit the huts. A total waste of time. So, you know, if you're coming here, uh, the best... Book an excursion. Right. Book an excursion. That's the best thing to do. Book an excursion, preferably from the ship that you're on. Or cruises.com. Right. Cruiseline.com. Right. Check them out on um, uh, TripAdvisor is what I go through to, to vet right. the excursions. But be prepared. Vet uh, the excursion you're going on with someone reputable. Do not get off the ship and off the dock and jump into the first tour van of the person who comes up to you and says, hey, I can take you on a great tour. You don't know them. You don't know where you're going to end up. You might not come back. So, word of advice. Now, we're going back to the ship after being ashore 15 minutes. 15 minutes. <laughs> we spent $15 and we're on already stuff. Disgusted. And let me tell you, it was $15 too much. But we wanted to get some, you know, the souvenirs and the Christmas ornaments for the tree and, you know, uh, special. Which they don't have. Which kind of they don't have. So we're going to make them. We look at the, some certain items and I say, can I make it into a Christmas ornament? So, yes, I can. So, bought a couple of that. And now we're headed back to the ship. Oh my God, I hope on uh, future cruises we never come here again. We have avoided this place for since a long 2006. time. So, and it hasn't changed much, has it? No. <laughs> so, what are we doing? We're going to travel safe and now we're going to cruise. Cruise often. off and then get us the hell out of here and back to the ship. So that was it. We got back on the ship went back up 
dumped our stuff in our rooms, and probably went off to grab some lunch in the buffet. Now, the next day, uh, November 5th, was a sea day because we were on our way back to the port of Miami, you know, ending our cruise, uh, going to arrive there on the 6th. So it was in the morning on the sea day, and we were up in the buffet, uh, uh, and we were having breakfast. And we had just finished, and it was kind of, you know, you, you feel the end of the cruise, you know, it's not that we're you know, depressed and ready to kill ourselves, but, you know, we were both kind of quiet, and and then um, one of our, uh, uh, a couple, a YouTube, uh, YouTube um, subscribers to our channel, they stopped at our table, um, and uh, we got to talking about Jamaica the day before, and, uh, and they were saying, oh my God, it was just awful, it was terrible, and we we're like, I know, it was horrendous. I felt like we were, you know, like Battle of the Network Stars. It was nuts. And when we had gotten back on board uh, and we were up at uh, ha having lunch at the buffet, we could hear everybody was bitching and moaning about the stop in Jamaica. Oh, my God, it was horrible. Why did we stop here? And you could just hear the conversations at all the tables as we were rolling by in the buffet line. People were not happy at all. And, you know, I think that if you had, you know, booked an excursion, you know, and had gone on a, uh, an excursion through the ship's uh, uh, company's excursion desk and gone out, I'm sure you had a wonderful time. It was ship-sponsored. Or I know there were people who were interested in uh, going for the day at an all-inclusive resort. So, of course, you were behind, you know, locked gates in an all-inclusive resort. I'm sure it was wonderful. But just to go out there, like, on your own and battling these people, no thank you. People on the ship were not happy about Jamaica. And so the couple um, had stopped, and so we were, we were chitty-chatting, and um, they were telling us these stories about what they heard and what they saw. And uh, they were telling us that this one lady was, was you know, out there shopping. And, and this woman, this Jamaica woman, literally grabbed her. And I mean, they were grabbing. And she was like, here, let me braid your hair. And before the woman, you know, could say, get off of me, this Jamaica lady was already into her hair, braiding it, like, with a matter of seconds. And she said, get the F off me now. What are you doing? And the lady was, oh, I can braid your hair. I can braid. She's like, get away from me. You touch me again. I'm going to deck you. And before she knew it, like half her head was braided. It's like, don't touch me. What is wrong with you people? Come near me again and you're going to get it. I was like, are you kidding me? She goes, no. This woman was horrified. And then she told us a story about um, this guy. And we've seen him on the ship. And I think he had an operation on his ankle, and he was using one of those knee scooters where he was kind of pushing himself using his good leg, and he was kneeling on the kneel, the kneel scooter with the other, and they were grabbing him, you know, the usual, come by my crap. And he was like, get away from me. They knocked him over. They knocked him on the ground because all of this grabbing nonsense. I mean, it's nuts. It really is. It really is the Hunger Games. And we're like, holy moly. Uh, and then, of course, uh, Kevin said, well, you know, take a look at what they did to me. And he showed them his arm bruises from the people grabbing him. And I didn't, you know, I, you know, I didn't know this when we sat down for breakfast, but um, I videotaped it. And this is what I found out. Uh, Kevin told me, and I didn't know, uh, when we sat down for our breakfast. Take a look. Okay. You guys, we just got done eating breakfast, and we were talking about Crazy Jamaica, and uh, I forgot to tell Frank about this little thing. This is the result of 15 minutes in Jamaica, but that will be a topic of conversation in one of his Tales from the High Seas. I mean, isn't this crazy? I mean, you come back on the ship 
from being in port and you literally are black and blue or have been knocked over onto the ground or have been physically touched. And that's the part that you don't find on the other islands. And we've been to all a lot of the other Caribbean islands. I mean, yeah, they want you to buy their stuff and they want to take you on a, a tour. And then I understand they're there to make money. Nope, you know, don't have an issue. We're there going, no, thank you. No, thank you. Oh, that's lovely. No, thanks. But when they start grabbing you, and that's what they do in Jamaica, they're touching you. They're grabbing you. They're knocking you over. You've, you, you come back on the ship with black and blue marks. That ain't right. That's bull. That is bull crap. And, that, and, and that's why a lot of people don't like to go there. And it's a gorgeous island. I just wish that these people would learn that if they behaved a little bit better and are not physical and abusive, then maybe uh, cruisers would enjoy getting off the ship. Now, when we, we um, aired our, our Jamaica vlog, we got a lot of comments. And I have to tell you that 9 out of 10 comments were all negative. All negative from people's experiences from being in Jamaica. And I want to read you one of them. And it's from a subscriber, uh, Ann Kirchberg. And she commented she was in Jamaica in 2016 with her 12-year-old son. And this is what she had to say. I have a story to tell you. In 2016, I took a cruise with my 12-year-old son. And one of the stops was Montego Bay, Jamaica. I am in a wheelchair and had just gotten off the ship. This man came up to us and was, uh, and he wanted to uh, help them take a picture. She wanted a picture of herself and her son. And so he says, I'll, I'll take the picture for you. And she was like, oh, wonderful. So she handed him her cell phone and he took the picture. The man then proceeded to tell me that I needed to pay him $5 for him having taken her picture. And I was like, no, that's not going to happen. I mean, if he had said to her up front, hey, I'll take the picture for you, it'll cost you $5, that's one thing. But to say, hey, man, I'll take a picture of you, eh? No problem, man. And then take the picture and then go, where's my $5? Again, I'll say, I call bull crap on that. That is nonsense. So she was like, oh, no, that's not happening. Give me my phone. He would not give me my phone back. Yeah, he was holding her phone hostage until she gave him the $5. Well, her 12-year-old son, thinking fast, grabbed the cell phone out of, her, out of the man's hands and gave it back to her. We proceeded to go on our way and then he grabbed the back of my wheelchair and would not let go. I said, you need to let go of me now. And he said that he wasn't going to let go until he got his $5 tip. And she said, absolutely not. I told my son to go off and get security from the port, so he took off running into the building to find them. He abruptly pushed me away and said, fine, and ran off. When my son came back out with security to make sure I was okay. I was fine, however, but a little bit shaken up. The security took care of the situation and I was able to do a little bit more shopping. What I learned from this incident is that do not let people take your photo for any reason unless, they're, unless uh, you're there in, with a party. I tell this story because I want people to be careful about going to Jamaica. It truly is a horrifying story. I mean, he, the man could have just kept her cell phone and went running off in lieu of his $5 tip. That's the nonsense that goes on on this beautiful island. And it's just a, it's just a shame. It really is. Because more people would enjoy going there uh, if they didn't have to worry about putting up with this crap. Of, of being battered and bruised and accosted and it's just it's just crazy and it's 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 not right um, and again this doesn't happen uh, 
on the other islands we have been to. Yeah, they're aggressive. Yeah, they want you to buy their souvenirs. Yeah, they want to take you on tours of the island. We all understand that. And if they're polite about it, we're polite about maybe saying no. But don't start touching us and grabbing us and accosting us and taking our things. That, because that's just not going to fly. Especially with this guy. So, I want to tell you that Kevin and I did survive the Hunger Game visit to Jamaica. A little battered and bruised, some of us. Poor Kevin. Um, and, you know, but that shouldn't stop you from, you know, getting on a boat and taking a cruise to the beautiful Caribbean. Don't let it stop you. So on behalf of Kevin and myself from Cruising with Wheels, I want to remind all of you to travel safe and cruise often. Bye-bye for now.